Hi. So this is a patch called Dyna Pitch. It originated as a question in the Reddit uh, Zoya group about uh, the dynamic mode of the marshmallow. Um, and so I said, yeah, Zoya could do something like that. And then I started working on something like that. And then I liked what I was doing. So I kept working on it uh, and created this patch. And what it is, is a stereo dynamic pitch shifter. Um, you can set the sensitivity of an envelope up here, a, a starting pitch, which is the pitch it will play below that envelope. So we can have it not be unity. Um, the end pitch, uh, which is the pitch that it ends up on. Uh, the pitches go from minus two octaves to plus two octaves. Uh, they're quantized. I'll come back to that in just a second. And you can set a glide parameter uh, but between them so that they... So that they glide into one another or so that they don't. Um, which has its own sort of glitchy... Um, so that's, you know, I mean, that's pretty much how the, the dynamic mode of the marshmallow works. Um, it gets a little bit interesting, uh, when you look on this side. So these controls are all replicated over here. And what that is, is because it's stereo, you can unlink the sides. So first you can set a different sensitivity, uh, for the, the right side. Uh, when they're unlinked, uh, or you can use the same sensitivity, but you can set them so that they respond very differently to, to dynamics. set different pitches for both sides. So here I have I have the two pitches going to, to very different uh, positions. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little under the weather. And you can set a glide when the, the pitch is uh, independent. You can set an independent glide amount so one can can glide, you know, uh, slowly to a new pitch and the other one can go quickly or, or however you want. Uh, there's a mix control there's a scale control, and the scale control, if you watch the UI button change color, that corresponds to what scale you're using. So blue is um, chromatic, green is uh, major, red is natural minor, yellow is uh, melodic minor, and aqua is harmonic minor. Unless I have those last two reversed, which I often do. Um, <clears throat> so you can pick what scale the quantized notes choose from. Um, then there's a smooth control, which just, it, what it does is it applies a slew limiter to the tail end of the uh, envelope follower. And that can help uh, create more consistent results from the envelope follower. 
uh, I worked pretty hard to try and make this so that it didn't just always you you can make it wobble back and forth uh, between different pitches but I didn't want it to, to just you know be totally erratic so the smooth control is part of my way to uh, adjust that so that if you want it to, to uh, respond I think better to playing dynamics um, you can adjust the smooth control and, and longer or higher smooth values will uh, make it so that when you play above the threshold it stays above the threshold longer and has a more consistent fall uh, rather than jumping back and forth across the threshold which the envelope follower has a sort of um, erratic output uh, and so this helps smooth that and at the bottom there's some interesting stuff I added on a delay uh, there's a tap tempo so that's cool uh, there are a couple of interesting things about this one is that you can set the feedback path right now the feedback path is set um, so that it goes through the delay uh, feedback path. But you can also set the feedback path so that it goes through the pitch shifter feedback path or, or so that it feedback feeds back through the pitch shifters and that can result in All sorts of weird things. It, it also works. Uh, that feedback path works when the the delay is disabled. Um, and you can set it to anywhere in between the two where. It, some of the feedback goes through the pitch shifters and some goes through the delay. Uh, there's a, an independent mix, so you could set it, right now I have it set it to about 50-50. The delay is only on the wet side, um, so it's only on the pitch shifter side of the, the global mix. So right now you'll hear uh, pitch shifting and then and then delayed uh, repeats. But you could also set the, the mix at a, a hundred percent. And then it becomes a pitch shifted delay in a you know more traditional sense where the, the repeats are shifted up. And then finally, uh, if we disable or turn off the the mix of the delay the uh, right push button does two things one it it momentarily maxes the feedback of the delay and the delay is a, a digital delay so doing that won't result in wild oscillations uh, it'll result in uh, 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 glitchy um, sort of perpetual repeats uh, but if the the delay is turned off it'll also momentarily turn it on so we can be playing Which I think is a, a cool option um, you know or you could use it when the delay is enabled uh, and, and then it would just sort of max out the repeats if you wanted to 
you know, create sort of a short loop of a phrase for a moment or something like that. Uh, I think it's a cool option to have. Um, so that's uh, DynaPitch. <laughs> Thank you.